These days, country schoolhouses are hard to come by. When a woman bought property with a schoolhouse on it, she wanted to find a way to preserve its history while giving it new life. Instead of tearing it down, she transformed District 10 from a place of learning to a place of socializing at the bar. In this segment, Grace McDonald takes us to the District 10 bar in Linwood. Walking down this country road. That's how students in Linwood got to the country schoolhouse from 1877 to 1974. But now they're driving and they're not exactly going to class. Instead, they're going to the District 10 bar. Because I thought my school can't be a bar. <laughs> but I changed my tune. I was upset. Mary Soul bought two acres in 2010 that came with an empty schoolhouse. I thought, you know, I can do something with that schoolhouse and it's right next door to my house, so I have a short commute. But before mixing up drinks, Mary invited the Nebraska Historical Society to document it. Within a few months, the schoolhouse became a registered historic site. It's a District 10 school and it would be perfect just to keep the same name. So I thought, well, if I'm going to keep the same name, I'm going to have the same motif. Now she uses the classroom to serve drinks and popcorn with an attitude. Has a little spice to it. Mary still collects District 10 stories and keeps them in a three ring binder for people to reminisce. Like we said, every morning we had to put the flag up and then fold it at the end of the day. Pump so, our water every morning. Yeah. Schoolmates who attended from kindergarten through eighth grade donate photos, report cards, and teachers' contracts. All the classes were together, everybody learned from everybody else. Mary installed insulation, repainted walls, and added chalkboards, but two things she kept the same are the stage. We would hang a curtain from that wall to here in the, for the plays. And the outdoor bathrooms. He didn't spend a lot of time in the winter going to the bathroom. It was pretty cold out there. As the finishing touch, Mary plans to install the original school bell. It belonged to her neighbor before he passed away. So I told him that I'd put it back up the way it was. And we'll do that once we get the bell up. Mary rings it to remind Linwood that District 10 is still in session. If you would like to try Mary Soul's popcorn with an attitude or flip through her book of schoolhouse photos, you can come to District 10 on Tuesday through Sunday evenings. For Pure Nebraska, I'm Grace McDonald.